Hi there, welcome to Nepi Invest and welcome to the small cap of the day. And that company is Moshio, T code MXO, a fairly small company with a markup of around about $10 million. Moshio released a trading update. I think it was actually an earnings upgrade on the 18th of November. And that announcement alone intrigued me enough to do a little bit of research on this company. And the reason I had to do a little bit of research is because even though I knew this company existed, I had no idea what they do. So digital place based and audience experience media. I'd probably call this company an advertising slash marketing company. Probably wouldn't say outdoor advertising because a lot of their advertising is indoor. So I'll touch upon what they do, go through a couple of their presentations, have a look at this particular, it wasn't really a training update. It was more of a rough upgrade the company did release on the 8th of November. And then we'll have a look at the chart. Okay, so briefly touch upon what this company does. Place-based media company that operates thousands of displays nationally. So what are we talking about? So here's one of their displays in a cafe. So it seems like that's what they do. So Moshio Health, so they have displays in pharmacies. Moshio Cafe, so they have these little advertising thingies um, when people are lining up to buy their coffee. I could definitely see the potential of that sort of thing. Uh, Moshio Play, I suppose that's in a gym entrance or somewhere like that. Uh, Moshio venues, so that's in pubs and that sort of thing. And why not advertise in pubs? You could people get drunk and they're more likely to buy stuff. Uh, product extensions, uh, branded equipment, branded coffee cups, HCP EDM. Uh, they own and operate digital screen networks in these expanding group of environments. And there's an ad for the office. Oh, no, that's the Australian office. No, no. No way, sorry, no way. No, I really like the American Office, really like that show. Uh, no, I have zero uh, want to watch the Australian Office. Anyway, so that's a brief uh, so look at what this company does. Now, let's have a look at the announcement that really drew me in, the announcement that intrigued me enough to say, hey, I should know a little bit more about this company. And here it is. And in fact, if you go back to the announcement, it was called or titled Upgrade to Earnings Guidance for Financial Year 25. And that is the sort of title I want to read and see, particularly if it's a company I own, which I don't own Moshio at this point in time. But Upgrade to Earnings Guidance can be the most powerful type of announcement a company can release. It means the company is performing better than the management expected. Or it also can mean the management is being a little bit conservative. They want to, don't want to go gung-ho in their uh, guidance for the future. And that also can be a good thing. So whenever I see an earnings guidance, that is uh, that means I more than likely will like the management. Okay, so let's have a look at this earnings guidance. Now, this company is profitable. Yes, this company is profitable. So now, the one thing I would have liked them to have done is have, so they mentioned uh, revenue, media, uh, software payments and other revenue. I would have liked to have seen what revenue they had in financial year 24, just a comparison. But cash EBITDA target upgraded from $1 million plus to $1.2 million plus. So it is on a low basis, uh, but that's, that's a 20% increase in guidance for cash EBITDA, inclusive of rent expenses. And that's exactly what I want to see. Quarter one, financial year 25, was a very strong result led by agency media sales. The first quarter was 61% ahead of the same period last year on similar inventory, with the average contract value increasing by 66%. Notably, 61% of advertisers were repeat business year on a year. Now, I won't mention or talk about anything else here. They've launched something called Creator. I found this really interesting. I won't mention audience measurement. I found this really interesting. This little sector or segment right here in the commentary. Moshio is a great business. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I think you can look at this a couple of ways. The, the management think the company is great business, but then again, every single management of every single company in the world think their business is a great business. But uh, they did mention, or whoever wrote this, the CEO and managing director, Adam Kadwalada, did mention here, as I have stated previously, Moshio has had four consecutive years of growth, is operating profitably, has continued its operational capabilities and efficiencies, including one of the most reliable digital display networks 
in the country. The team is ready, set up, and capable of further expansion. Anyway, now, Moshio is small. Mark up of this company is $9.57 million. Shares on issue, that's okay, $273.32 million. In fact, among the, or in the ASX, it's the 1,822nd biggest company listed on the exchange. Now, that does not mean anything because this company is now profitable and they are growing. So there are a few things to like about the financial performance of Moshio. Uh, that's sort of separate from what you think about the business model, about what they're doing and the potential of advertising problems if we do go into maybe a recession. And that's one of the things that a lot of companies will pull back on um, is advertising. Now, let's have a look at the chart for this company. Now, this is a really interesting chart. So share price had been a downtrend. Now, I don't know when this company listed. They listed uh, 2020, I think. Yep, share price at one point in 2021 went as high as 15 and a half cents. And then the share price moved into well-defined downtrend. But recently, we have seen a bit of a lift in the share price. Not only that, we have started to see an increase in volume. So this company's name is getting out there. And yeah, and I think probably one of the reasons why profitable. They are operating profitable. So share price has gone up a little bit. A nice increase in volume. Share price has broken out a few days ago. In fact, on this release, on this announcement release, the share price did break out. Uh, share price went actually went to a high of 4.4 cents, has pulled back to 3.5. So this could be a buy the dip situation. Now, the shares in this company are illiquidly traded for those who care about that sort of thing. So for instance, just today, they've had uh, 769,000 shares traded. But you can see major periods there where nothing's traded. So there was almost four hours where nothing was traded. That does not bother me at all. That, but that will bother particularly some of the experts who will look at this company and say, it's too illiquid. You can't take a position in this company. But they're coming from the point of view of the large institutions. Large institutions could not take a significant position in this company, but you can. Retail investors can. There's enough trading to take a position in this company. Okay, so that's all I have for the small cap company of the day, which is Moshio, T-code MXO. If you have any thoughts, any questions about this company, just leave those in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, I'm not a financial advisor. If you need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who is qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye.